Hello all, Sirius Lee's here, back for some more finishing permadeath. And today we're going to take a bit of a break from the eggs uh, and experimenting. We're, we're going to do some creature related stuff today. I am definitely on a bit of a tangent. Uh, I remember back when I started looking for creatures, I went through my discoveries menu and I was looking through for creatures to find, looking for robot creatures, if you recall. And I had very, very few creatures scanned, at, despite having lots of systems visited. I've hardly landed on any planets, I've hardly scanned any creatures. So really, that's what today is about. Uh, a catch-up zoology mission. We're going to do some exploring, and some scanning, and some seeing some sites, and some creatures, and getting some details. What I've been doing in the meantime, uh, between episodes, is exactly that. Uh, I went through my list, starting at my base, back at the Isentome, and I went system by system, landing on every planet, and taking a gander. Oh, I missed one. Oh, this was uh, discovered by somebody else. I didn't go to systems that other people discovered. Ah, uh, right. So I've skipped that one, uh, went to there. So I've gone through. Uh, this one had no planetary fauna. I think the entire system had no planetary fauna. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, so this was a, whatchamacallit, um, abandoned system, I think is the term for it. Something like that. Anyway, uh, here, let's go to this planet. Four to five discovered. I didn't grab everything. Uh, I ran around catching any creatures that were there by my ship when I got out of the ship. Uh, then I checked the discoveries list. I saw that this was all flying creatures. I'm like, all right, on to the next planet. And that would have been, say, this one. I found everything here. Uh, and did I find anything interesting? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't made specific notes. I was just going through and uh, looking for creatures to scan that were ground creatures, that were tameable creatures. So I am still looking for pet stuff. Uh, we are on a pet mission today, but it's more of a zoology mission, more of a catch up of stuff that I didn't do. I do have some eggs to hatch, I do have some new creatures to show, but we'll do that next time. Uh, today we're not going to do that. However, I did have a viewer request from Mr. Dubs to show off my jetpack modules and layout. Now my layout I do not think is optimized, I just put them where it fits nice and gives me an inventory space that's a bit of a square, so everything goes in the same area when I pick it up. But we'll go over the modules. We'll start in the technology section. That's where the jetpack itself is. And then I have these three modules just in a row touching each other. So we have only 207% there for jetpack tanks, but we have a 24% recharge rate for jetpack tanks. We have 200% tanks there, that, that's the bare minimum, uh, and a 19% recharge rate there. Uh, you can look at the other statistics too, but those were not concerns for me at all. Although, I have noticed that I could use some sprint distance because I run out of breath very quickly when running. Here we have 201% tanks and 23% recharge rate. This one and this one are decent, very decent. 24% is great, 23% is okay. 19, I could find better. I could maybe replace that one. And on this side, we have the efficient water jets and the rocket boots, as well as the neural stimulator. Just because, why not? Uh, we've got 11% recharge rate. It's just one more module you can install. Uh, and we have extra tanks as well, an extra 20% tanks. Why not? And then for the, wait, no, there's one more here. Perfect jets. No? Which one is the, there we go, the airburst engine. This is the one that lets you regenerate some of your jetpack as you're falling. So if you fall a huge distance, you should get enough before you splat to have some jetpack to stop yourself. Mostly though, I'm using this just as an S-class module for bonuses to these. So if I did decide to do my layout better, uh, this would be a good addition to have. It's also good just, you know, as a precaution. But then we have, module-wise, 200% with a 21% recharge rate, 210% with a 22% recharge rate, and 215 with a 21% recharge rate. 
Sprint recovery time is pretty good on these modules. I have a very good recovery time. All right, so that's that. That's my jetpack modules. That's why I can jetpack so often. It runs out a little bit faster than some people's, but it comes back at a rate uh, that is pretty nice on. Let's, let's just drain it all. Let's go somewhere. Let's find some of the animals I found here, robots. And just watch how fast that in the lower right there recharges my jetpack. Uh, is almost as good as some people's running recharge rates. So we got the spare tire robot with white, and we have the triple parasol robot in, I think, green. Yeah. <laughs> so that's this planet done. I've already scanned both of the creatures here. Do I have room for some carbon? I guess I do. I just made room before I started the video, but I think I need more regular carbon than condensed carbon at this rate. I've grabbed a lot of crystals in my exploration. It's one thing I can't help but do. Ooh, shiny red crystal. Better shoot that. Really, I should be focusing on the dihydrogen. Uh, you may have seen... Let's go into the inventory while we're flying. That's always safe, right? Uh, I've also done some exploring on these planets. Well, I've landed everywhere, and there's been some stuff near my ship when I got out. So I grabbed it, because uh, let's add to the collection. Let's not need to go get more later if I do need them for something. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to go back to Discoveries. This is a four planet system. I haven't looked ahead to see what we got coming. What do we got coming? A five planet system. We've got a four planet system that I've already landed on one of. And it's bladed, so it probably only has the one creature, and I've probably discovered it. Great, so we've got two easy systems coming up. We might get through three systems today. This is a very, very fast process. Uh, because I am not doing every single creature and every single rock and, and mineral on the planet. I'm just looking for creatures that are tameable. A lot of these planets have very few of those. Uh, and I'm not doing underground creatures, basically, at all. If I happen to see one on the scanner and an easy cave entrance to it, I'll go grab it, but I'm not too concerned. In my experience, the underground creatures aren't any of the new Origins creatures. They're, uh, they're just the old stuff. And there's some nice old stuff if you're looking for an old stuff pet, like a, a crab or maybe a bouncy creature. I often find those underground. Uh, sometimes I find four-legged animals underground, like uh, beaver-style creatures or badgers. Okay, we landed on the ocean. So, let's go back to space and, uh, oh, no, we're not going to be able to see the ground because there's a storm going on. Great. Great. Let's just fly up a bit so we get some speed. Maybe we'll see some ground through these clouds. Actually, let's just go into space. And uh, take a quick peek, even though there's clouds. Yeah, see, I can see I can see the ground through the clouds. That's perfect. We should be able to land here, hopefully without crashing. Let's see if there's any tall mountains on this planet. Um, doesn't look like tall mountains, but there are some mountains. Maybe they're tall. Oh, they're tall. They are tall. Well, nuts. These are these are the worst planets to do the zoology on. <laughs> because not only is finding a landing spot a pain, finding the creatures and getting to them is all often a pain. And all of these valleys are going to have water at the bottom. Okay, okay. Well, this is a bad example to start with, I guess. <laughs> Let's find a spot to land. Now, this is one of those alien tree horror planets. What's it called? What are we, uh, what are we on here? Let's see what that... Maybe I'll lower the game sounds. If we're gonna have this, uh, loud storm. Icy Abhorrence is what we're on. Uh, the sound is a bit better, and I'm gonna be using scanner most of the time anyway, so that's okay. Oh, thermal protection falling. I heard you, suit lady. There you go. <laughs> uh, need a recharge. Life support as well. Sure. All right, let's put that scanner back on and look for some creatures. All right, we got a flying creature up there. 
Oh, there's some. All right, that's the same creature. Anything on the ground? Nothing immediately apparent on the ground. So, now that I have a creature scanned, if I hit escape, it'll bring me right to the creature menu. And I can see that there is one rare ground creature. And it's always active. I don't have to go to the north or south hemisphere. There's also underwater creatures and flying creatures that I'm not too interested in scanning. So we're only looking for one ground creature. And did it say rare? It did, but it's always active day or night. And at any geography level, apparently. So we just need to wait around for a minute to find. Maybe we can explore around for a minute too. We're looking for a red dot. We can grab some plants and uh, minerals and such on our scanner. I have not been to Helios since I started doing this, but maybe we'll get some good rewards. And there we go. There's our one ground creature. I can tell by its movement. Oh, no, that's, that's a flying creature. That's just what I was going to say. I'm like, that is either a ground burrower or actually a flying creature. There we go. I got it. These uh, murmuration, these, oh, I guess those are butterflies, uh, conglomerate flying creatures, they're a little bit hard to target. So there's our ground creature, I bet. No? Is that another flying creature? It is. Well, we're just going to find a bunch of these things. Ah, oh, more butterflies. This is the planet of the ice butterflies. Hmm. Well. I don't know that we're going to find anything useful here. Because it's all water creatures. I've caught all the flying creatures already. Maybe we need to move locations to get a ground creature to spawn. So let's head back over to the ship. That didn't hurt that much. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, it is, when you're looking for a single ground creature like this, it is advantageous to scan those flyers just so that they appear as the green paw prints and not as a new red dot to hunt down. didn't say there was any underground creatures here, so we're not looking for one of them. Let's head up the mountain a bit and see what we get up there. And if we don't find anything up here, we'll just head back to the ship. And head off to the next planet. As you can see, my jetpack all the way from climbing up that mountain already came back. It's no big deal. Oh, here we go. What do we have? Oh, it's a beetle. Yeah, that's a ground creature, but you can't tame it. All right. Can I scan it, though, please? Thank you. There we go. So that's the one ground creature on this planet. Let's just double check our menu. Yeah, so we have three underwater creatures. So that's one more planet that I could come back and get the, zoo the full zoology on quite easily. Uh, but I'm not too concerned with that for now. Yeah, I know it's falling. I'm going back to the ship. Whee! All right. And I do like to make an autosave after each planet is scanned to my satisfaction, just because I've had the game crash a few times, and I don't know if that's my system resources or a problem with the game. Oh, yeah, a bit of lag there. <laughs> uh, but one thing I did notice is that I don't know if I'm now on patch 3.22, or if that's been released, but uh, I have been feeding my robot pet uh, batteries instead of creature pellets on every planet it seems now so that seems to have been fixed or gone live for me at least finally all right rainy planet I've discovered this that's where it came that's where we came from we're gonna have some pirates to fight but that's okay I could have gone back down into the atmosphere of the planet but let's make some distance up to head to this one it's a pretty close by planet mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hostile ships approaching 
Uh, okay. Well, let's turn around and fight them. How many? Two. One up there. And one right there. Oh. You crashed into me while you were exploding, ship. That wasn't very nice of you. Alright, what are we headed towards? We can take a gander before we get there. A cabled planet. Well, I've already picked up a couple of those. Two. But if I land near some more, I can fit a couple more. I picked up five bubbles. That's good. Alright, no chromatic filter here. Uh, I like hitting these planets because they're a nice quick one, because you're basically only ever going to find either two robots or one anomalous creature. Nice blue sky here. I like that. Sometimes you get really cool chromatic effects on these planets, too. Alright, well, I don't see any question marks, but I do see a creature. 200 units away, it's probably just the single anomalous creature. You usually don't see the robots from that far away, and you usually see more of them. Alright, so we have the one creature. We got that. Let's take a quick peek around. Maybe we can visually see some uh, glitch decorations. Yeah, there's one right there. Hey, buddy. I'm glad they're not violent. <laughs> All right, that's good enough. I don't need to pick up uh, a dozen of these on every planet. We've made our mark, made our discovery, make our autosave, and off to the next planet. So I think there's, what, one more to grab here. Let's take a quick peek at the discoveries menu. Is this the one? I've discovered that, so no, it would say unmapped. Okay, I am headed towards what looks to be an icy planet. Okay, so let's go to first person uh, view. Got a gander of where the planets are at. That's gotta be the one. And we'll scan it en route. 44 seconds to get there. It is another frost planet, okay. Doesn't appear to have water, so we don't have to worry about where we're landing. Uh, I don't like to land too close to oceans on water planets because I want to make sure that we're spawning in just the ground creatures and obviously the sky creatures because we can't prevent that. So, we're almost there. I don't want to bounce off the atmosphere. I have room for a little bit more carbon. Okay. Let's go to the daylight side. Uh, I don't know <laughs> that that helps, but most of these animals are not what's called dineural in the game, Most mostly available in daylight. It does happen occasionally, and so does uh, only found at nighttime. Uh, but I haven't found, actually, I haven't found any only found at daytime or nighttime. I've found mostly dineural or mostly nocturnal. Which means you can find those animals in the daytime or nighttime, regardless of which they're more commonly found in. But I just head to the nighttime side of the planet and search there, or daytime, vice versa. All right, come on, animals. Let's see what you got. Any birds? Hmm, not yet. Oh, I hear something. Oh, it's just a sentinel. <laughs> there we go. There's some dots. Well, maybe we have some robots. Nope. That's a weird kangaroo ram. I think I see a protogak off in the distance. Let's scan that from here and see what it looks like. Oh, it's got a huge horn. Neat. Oh, there we go. There's a bone crab. Or tick. Or cat, apparently. Are you uh, aggressive? Eat frozen meat, but do you eat me? No? All right. Well, let's scan your victim. Um, did you disappear? Oh, uh, maybe my mouse just let go. Whoops. 
Whoopsie. There we go. You continue eating. No problem, sir. <laughs> or or ma'am? I don't know. Uh, yeah, ma'am. Female. This, this bone tick actually says gender female. Neat. Cool. All right, how many creatures do we got left to scan here? Let's take a gander. We have one rare ground, and the rest are either underground or flying. Okay. Let's just move around a bit and get some new creatures to spawn in. Okay. What are we up on the side of the hill? A bunch of stuff I've seen already. Let's get a closer look at... Uh, this guy is huge. Um, I've seen bigger, but that's pretty big. Oh, yeah. What a face. <laughs> okay, red dot. Looking for a red dot. too far away from the ship because I forgot to check if it was refueled. There is the other gender of bone crab. Bone tick. Whatever, it's bony. Say whatever you want after the bone and people will know what you're talking about. Mm. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that top um, spire vent. Hesitate to call it a horn, although it will take color, I bet. That is one of the things I did discover with my experimentation, and we'll get to that tomorrow. Um, oh yeah, you know what? This one might take color nicely, or is that just the shadows? No, that's just the shadows. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, not all creatures are able to have all of their colors changed. There's base colors to these creatures that sometimes can't be changed, and uh, the bone ticks have uh, a default base overall shell and it's often yellow and that can never be changed but there is sometimes an overlay over it especially over the legs that will basically change the entire leg color uh, so i'm wondering if there's different overlays that cover different areas of the pets and maybe that's how we can color robot pets maybe some robot pets don't have an overlay filter that can be colored and maybe that's what i ran into uh, as an issue with my pet all right, well, I'm not seeing any more red dots. We have one more to find here. All right, let's uh, grab a bird, because why not? I think there was just the one bird to find as well. Yeah, we're at five of eight. I am not gonna find those two underground creatures. That's a big waste of my time, I think. All right, yeah, let's just head back to the ship. Maybe we'll find that rare creature over there. I am happy to note that... Oh, was that a red dot? Mm, yes, it was. Uh, that was the rock, though. I just scanned a very big rock is all I did. There we go, the uh, humpback creature scanned. We're done on this frozen planet. Out of the way, creatures, I gotta back, get back to the ship. Okay, well, not a few, but I forgot to make an autosave anyway, so there we go. Let's take off and head to the next one. And are we done in this system yet? I think so. So after I get in space, go to the discoveries menu. Yeah, that's everything here. And then I just go like this. I double check to make sure it's one that I discovered. Make it my waypoint. Go into the galaxy map and it should be nearby because most of these planets I found directly one after the other while exploring. Looking for planets that might have uh, robots on them. Or was I looking for glitch decoration planets at this point? Uh, one of those two things. <laughs> Yeah, if I was looking for robots, I probably would have landed. But if I didn't see any, maybe I just would have taken off right away without scanning any. So that might be why some of these planets have been landed on with no creatures scanned. Hello. 
I mean, yellow sky, but what, what do we got there? Hostile Sentinels, maybe? Nope, it's a fungal planet, so we can find some sporal uh, glitch decorations there. I could scan all of these uh, now. It doesn't really affect anything. It's still going to say unmapped underneath the planet name, so I will know that I haven't landed on it yet. Oh, again, yellow sky, unfortunately, but purple. Another fungal planet. Neat. Double glitch decoration planet. Unfortunately, they're both the same kind. That looks like it's going to be fungal mold. Maybe gamma. Oh, all right, all right. Not too great skies on these planets, though. It looks like it's yellow all the way around. But it looks like it's going to be a really fast exploration because these sporal fungal type planets here uh, are only going to have one or two creatures to find and they're not going to be too uncommon. Yeah, you can really see that yellow sky reflecting off of uh, the ship, making the gray turn very yellow. Not my favorite. So we'll just land wherever. And we'll just that first contact screen, and we will hit the scanner right away. So we are not, oh, you know, I, th I think I saw a question mark. No? Maybe not. Okay. We are not going to be here too long. I, I anticipate. <laughs> and we have another one of these planets to search anyway with purple grass. Even though this looks purple here in the scanner, I wonder what the purple looks like through the scanner. Yeah. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> oh, there's one of the creatures. I seen it. Didn't even see the red dot. I saw the creature. There we go. We got him. And I could go to the discoveries here and I hit upload, but when it's just one creature, you only get 50 nanites. It's not a huge reward. So I'm only generally doing that if it's one of those six or seven creature planets. And even that's only worth 300 nanites or so, but it's enough. It's enough to be worth doing. And eventually I'll go through all of my discoveries and upload them anyway. Now what are we headed to here? Is that the purple one? It looks sort of purple over here in the sunlight side. Let's head to the sunlight side. Yes, it is. Fungal planet. All right. I'm not really too concerned about finding which planet's the closest and heading there. As long as I know that I haven't hit that planet yet, I'm content to uh, head to one that I, you know, I haven't been to yet. All right. Yeah, that's daylight enough for me. Oh, I do like the uh, the brown sections, or what is that? Green. Maybe that's just the yellow sky making them green. There's also some red sections in there. Interesting stuff. All right, anywhere looks good. weather planet, okay. Nope, just another one of these kind of creatures, all right. And I didn't see any Calcashroom decorations on the last planet, but I do here, so let's go grab it. Yeah, this grass is not as purple as it could be. I mean, when you get up close and put your flashlight on it, sure, but it's not very thick. Yeah. No, we, we can do better. It's very red, actually. Well, those red sections are probably causing that. All right. Back to the chopper. Whoops. Wrong. Bad bounce. There we go. That's a better bounce. And another good bounce. Auto save made. Oh, and of course, there's not a fuel. I'm going to have to go buy some uranium soon. <laughs> All right, where is the next target? Let's go into first-person mode so we can see our scanner, our radar. That's where we just came from, I think. I think. It's a 
little bit annoying that it won't show up. Uh, no, that's a high energy planet, and it is unmapped, so we are going to head to it. Excellent. And while we're, no, not while we're in orbit, because if we hit, uh, if we hit this, we pause the game. But we have two more planets, one with rings, that should be easy to note, and one that looks like it has water. It might be this one, it's hard to say, we'll see. We'll see when we get through those clouds. Hopefully we don't land right over an ocean again. That's a bit annoying. We do have blue skies on this planet. I can tell by the cloud color before it switched to the storm clouds. Oh, and the storm is clearing. Excellent. Good timing. Okay. It's definitely a gamma planet, and we're definitely over the land. It's nice and flat. Not too mountainous. Should be easy to find some creatures on. Oh yeah, extreme radiation. Uh-huh. Oh, there's an interesting thing or two. Bouncy planet, maybe? Uh, let me get that guy, because he's going to be harder to find. There we go. When those things go underground, you can't scan them. It's a little bit annoying. I've come across some gopher creatures that pop up out of the ground and you can scan them when they're not above ground. So, you know, come on, give us that ability. Nope, nope. There we go, biological entity being scanned. Come on, hop out of the ground, buddy. There we go. Nope, I missed. Okay, got it. <laughs> all right, how many? Five of nine. There's a flying creature to grab. We might get all of them here. Oh, no, there's water on this planet, isn't there? Isn't there? No, there isn't. Oh, okay, we might get all of them. Okay. Uh, flying... No, two underground creatures. Well, we're done here. The only other creatures here are not ones I'm concerned with cataloging today. So off to the next planet. Either one with rings or one with water. We'll just hop into space a little distance away so we can get a good glimpse at the system. Alright, looks like all the planets are right above us. Oh, that was loud. Sorry, everyone. There's the ringed planet behind that one, so let's head to the one peeking just behind the horizon of the purple one. Because those will be the two that we have not been to yet. Yeah, I can see the water over there. No, of course. Well, you know what? I'm going to try then, because we're not going to make it to that planet in time. Maybe I can hit the atmosphere of this one. Although I took a bad angle for that. Oh, and that wasn't, wasn't close enough to the atmosphere. Oh well. <laughs> it was worth a shot. At least we would have made it. And it's not like it takes a huge amount of time out of our day to do that. Now, if it would let us pulse, that would be nice. There we are, back on course. Oh, oh really? Well, hmm, I don't want to delete stuff. I'd rather sell it, but I've got lots of money. So let's delete stuff. Now I can pick up Lendmium. <laughs> Uh, what about my main inventory? How many room? How much room we got left here? Yeah, see, the Herox went there. I don't need that. I don't need Lendmium. I will keep the Storm Crystals. I have had to use uh, the Terrain Manipulator. That's where I got all that from, so I'll have to recharge it. I haven't done that yet. Star Bulb activated Cadmium. Hmm. All right. Well, hopefully it's not too mountainous. I don't mind a storm. And maybe we'll get lucky and find one of those... Oh, yeah, we got a chromatic color effect. Maybe we'll find one of those stormy planets that doesn't do damage to you. It just gives you really cool clouds and rainbows. Boop. That's the way to land. Crash into the ground real quick-like. Painfully hot rain, and that noise leads me to believe that no... This is just a regular stormy planet. Oh well. Oh well. Okay. Animal-wise, 
What do we got? Birds? Don't see any birds. Oh, there's some red dots. We got some bone crabs. Partially digested meat, but not players, it seems. I do like the coloring pattern on this one. Let's quickly grab some other creatures while we see them. I don't want to have to spend too much time here if it starts storming. Where are you? Oh, a floaty crab thing. Neat. Alright, where'd the bone crab go? And a bird. We've got 6 out of 11, not bad. Yeah, that's an interesting coloring pattern. That will take dye really well, but see the problem again is that the base is yellow. Or... Hard to tell. Hard to tell. Maybe what we can do is take a screenshot and move that sun around. Let's make it day, day, day. Oh yeah, that's interesting. It's actually green. Or is that the chromatic filter? That's the chromatic filter. Well, that's unfortunate. But you can see what I mean. This purple color here, it sort of fades out at the knee. That's an overlay on top of the leg color. And that we can change the color of. Same with this purple at the back here. In fact, this whole panel can probably have the, co the base color changed away from yellow. Definitely that green in between that panel and the back plate. Uh, the same with the neck color here. So the neck color, that green color here we can change, and that purple overlay we can change. So that's something to keep note of on the bone ticks, bone crabs. Oh, let's, uh, let's take the scanner all the way back. Oh, there's something we can see from really far away. So that's probably... Might be a flying creature with how fast it's moving. But it might be a giant flying crab. No, that's just a regular flying creature. Okay. How much is left to find on this planet? Get into the ship and take a peek at the menu. I think we're probably done. Yeah, just underwater creatures and probably underground. Yeah. All right, we're done. And that means we've got the ringed planet. Oh my God, that's so loud. Sorry, sorry. Nope, that's not the right one. There we go. All right, we're looking for a ringed planet. And uh, hopefully, no storms. All right, where are the planets at? Over here? No. It was behind. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> well, I don't see any storms. That's not a guarantee. So we have aggressive sentinels. And it is a desert planet. Alright, things to keep in mind. Aggressive sentinels are a bit annoying. Just hunt for animals around. But maybe we'll get lucky and this will just have four birds on it or something. And we can just move on to the next one. So this is what I am up to probably all day today. I'm going to get through that list. I'm going to go through as many of my old star systems that I did visit but didn't catalog. And I'm going to go do some zoological cataloging today. And I've been doing it yesterday. And basically every night this week I've done a, a, at least one star system. Most of them are really quick because I'm not grabbing every single creature. We have a red sky here, which I'm not a fan of. But it could be worse. Oh, I guess the ground hasn't caught up to us yet. There we go. Now we can land. Get out under the rocks and get away from that sentinel, maybe, if our ship didn't get in the way. You know what? Let's just go around. <laughs> okay. There's a good vantage point. So, what do we have on this planet? Nothing, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I know I have eggs ready to hatch. Thank you. Thank you. 
but I'm not doing that now. I'll do that later. Come on. <laughs> There we go. Uh, no, that's a mineral I'm scanning. I mean, I could have just finished, but... There we go. Unknown entity. See, these gopher things. It didn't have to be popping up out of the ground for me to scan it. So we should be able to get that going on. Let's go take a peek at that gopher thing. Where'd it go? Huh. He's gone. But there's some more red dots, so let's grab them. Oh, that's the rock. There we go. Biological entity. We got a bird or two. No, just the one. Okay. Let's take a peek at the discovery menu now. Oh, there's only one more creature to find. It is a ground creature, and it's only found in the north, but it's always active. So, back out of here. We'll hit the scanner. My first... Uh, coordinate, current location in the top right there says negative 109. Uh, so we need to go to at least positive, uh, yeah, above zero. Zero is the equator for north and south. Uh, and I think it goes up to 180. Oh, of course, of course. So that's south. We want to head north. And we have to wait eight or nine seconds to get rid of that hostile sentinel before we can go into the atmosphere and make a real good distance. There we go. And I don't have to go too, too, too far into the north, but why not? Why not head uh, over to here? And if we head into first person mode in our ship, we can see that I'm at positive 17, negative 131. So that's good enough. Uh, usually, I haven't had any problems following this method to find north or south creatures so far, but usually I'm heading to like 20 or 30, sometimes as far as 60, below that line or above that line. So maybe if you're too close to the equator, there's a zone where they won't show up. I'm not sure. We'll take a quick peek between these sentinels that want to attack us just because we're here. So, we're looking for a red dot. It should be the only red dot left. And because of how many burrowing weird creatures I've seen here today, I don't believe we're going to find anything interesting. In fact, it might just be a rare version of one of those creatures. So, I guess we could continue to head north. And does our ship have fuel? It does not, so we're going to have to head back to the ship. Let's stick around. Stick around the ship. Thermal protection falling, huh? All right, well, let's recharge that. All right, not seeing this thing. It's not a quick find. Hmm. Oh, no, no, that's the worm I already got, okay. Oh, there we go, it's a bouncy creature. All of that work for a little bouncy creature. But if you want a teal bouncy half snake, there's a teal bouncy half snake for you. <laughs> All right, so I guess we did two systems, maybe three, no, nah, just two systems today. Uh, that's about it. Next time we're gonna come back and I'm gonna try hatching some of those, these bone ticks and see if we can change colors in a way that I am really happy with. Until then, everyone, have a good time. <laughs>